Dear Lord, dear Lord, I've been waiting on your call. See my lights burning low. Won't you please reach out for my soul? Dear Lord, dear Lord. All right, we have the Chinelli brothers again. And uh, we are musicians, so it is our profession. Uh, in other words, we paid to do the clowns. <laughs> but, 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 no, just that this is extremely correct. <laughs> the music is it developed a little bit. Um, so before we were a blues band. And now people think we are a soul blues band. Uh, correct, correct. We play our own songs, mostly our own songs entirely. We did a record in between in Woodstock, uh, Woodstock in uh, New York, upstate New York. The recording process. Oh <laughs> no, it wasn't like this. This is like ch yeah, torture. Yeah. This is like torture. It was very interesting, and it was in a great studio called Applehead. A lot of amazing amps, and we had this uh, great producer, a drummer called Rich Pagano. Why don't you talk more about that as you're another drummer? Well, I love Rich. Rich is an amazing musician. Why? Yeah. <laughs> it's an amazing musician, amazing drummer. It was great to work with somebody that could talk the same language for once for a difference you know it was in the booth with me tuning up and doing a lot of things so I learned a lot of tricks and it was just sensational a great person to work with and send a love to Rich of course yeah yes uh, we had a producer for the first time which wasn't just us so yeah something different I think this is the first record when he's displayed what the band can do live and in real life. It's just like a great record, a great frame of the band right now. If you haven't heard it yet, almost exactly the Cinelli Brothers was out in January 2024. You can listen it. Can I say Spotify or we are against it? You never know with the Dutch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I would expect this. <laughs> so it's on vinyl. You can buy it, but it's, yeah. Um, you can listen to Spotify as well. Almost exactly the Chinelli Brothers. Well, baby, walk down the street. I knew you were travel. This bit of sweet. An odd little was just a glimpse of your eyes. You got me hooked. You got me real. When we play live now, the instrumentation is split pretty equally. I do harmonica and guitar, I would say 50-50. Marco is probably more like 60-40 for keys, in the favor of keys. And Steven, I think, is around the same, 60-40, maybe 60% on bass, 40% on guitar. I don't know, it depends on the set list. We change it every, every night, uh, what we're going to play. But uh, it's always fun to rotate and uh, do that. And by the way, if you haven't seen the show, I don't know, remember if we did it at the last time at the Harlem Blues Club. But also Steven plays drums and Alessandro plays bass on the track as well. No, there's absolutely no blueprint. Uh, we can start from a lyric, for a text, we can start from a melody, we can start from a rhythm, we can start from an idea of what we want, you know? And then that's how it goes. We take the best ones, more or less, they don't sound too sloppy, and 
yeah, playing, 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 playing. I think the band sound add a good value to it. She don't hear a single word I'm saying, but I know I'll be fine when it's time for me to walk away. She gave me the words she wanted, time and gone. We would like to thank them all for coming to the shows, for coming back to the shows, for staying uh, with us and supporting us along the way. It's uh, a great pleasure and we are very grateful for that. So we can keep going, keep rolling and uh, eventually uh, write more songs and maybe better ones. All right, are you ready? Three, yell, yell, yell. Three. What, what do we yell? Uh, a poil, of course. Three, two, one. A poil!